What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we have just gotten news that update 21 is upcoming. It's very it's coming very soon, right? End of August and we've got the first little piece of news about what to expect and the big things to mention are the talents that are coming to Night Statue as well as Crystal Mancer. So we're going to be breaking it down as well as playing around with a new deck with Crystal Mancer and Sword because Sword's going to get a rework too. So guys, grab your coffee, grab your device. Let's head on down to Game by the Beach. <laughs> Welcome back once again, fellas. <clears throat> We're going to be jumping right into a game here, showcasing a new deck, of course, you guys know how it goes, of Crystal Mancer, plus Reaper, plus Sword, plus a couple other things, right? Harlequin, Dryad, playing around with some different stuff in the new season, uh, and the reason we're starting off with a replay and using these specific cards is because these cards are going to be adjusted and boosted in the next update. So update 21.0 is coming at the end of August, okay? And we just got released the little, the first little tidbit of news of what to expect in this upcoming update. So I thought, what better than to play a little game? I just played this game maybe 20 minutes ago. It's a good one. We're gonna play this through, watch this through, talk about it through while we're talking about all the update news, and then we're gonna jump into a game live afterward with this same, very same deck, and talk a little bit more about my thoughts on the upcoming changes. And I know that's why you guys are here, so let's not waste any more of your time, and let's jump right into talking about what to expect. So if you guys are curious on where to find this news, you can either find it on the uh, Rush Royale official Discord page, or you can find it on their Rush Royale official Facebook page. Those are the two places that I go. They do not have a Twitter, if you guys are curious. But here we go. Update 21.0 already at the end of August. There are many interesting features uh, that will be waiting for you. The Council of Random Island announces the imminent start of the competition. The Challenge of Seven. Participate in PvP battles and earn faction cores and other prizes. The more victories, the more valuable the reward. So is this a new this is a new event? A new Challenge of Seven. Interesting. Let's uh I don't know. There's they're obviously gonna release more information about it, but that's all it says right there. Dragon Rift. New worlds and new enemies await. Flame Caster and Life Stealer. A new, ever-hungry ally with a unique battlefield presence mechanic. Very, very cool. Co-op. It will be easier for you to find an ally that matches your critical damage to compete the f to complete the floor. Didn't really realize that was an issue. I've been playing co-op on and off a little bit recently, but um, I feel like every time I queue in, it's it's a reasonably amount, same amount. Maybe I'm not really worried about it. If if somebody I queue in with, it has 2,000 crit. I'm pretty happy about that. I got like 3,100 crit. So if they got 2,000 crit, I'm pretty confident that we'll, we'll be able to clear. I mean, honestly, I'll probably be able to clear regardless. So maybe people are having trouble queuing in at like 2,000 or 2,500 uh, crit to where they actually need a partner to complete the floor. And if they're getting another 1,000 below that, maybe they, they can't hang. So that kind of makes sense. I'm glad they're going to do that. Hero changes. Okay, Necromancer will perform with his new album. Keep a close eye on your mana reserves. Trickster is also invited to the, con the, the concert. The concert, okay. Again, these are talking about changes that are coming, not what the changes specifically are. So we're gonna have to stay tuned for that type of information. Let's just get through Tribunal right quick. 15 seconds, very, very important in this deck. When you're running J, to make sure that you hit J right before Tribunal gets here. Because my board, it looks pretty good. I actually really like the core. I've got four Crystal Mancers, three of which are on tiles, two uh, two Reapers, one of which is on a double boosted tile. But even with that good looking board, there's no way in heck 
we would take out Tribunal before it hit us. So it's really important to hit hit our uh, hit our J at an optimal time. You can see I'm still spamming some more swords. We're getting pretty close. That bottom middle, I can't really point to it. Bottom middle Crystal Mancer is at eight. I think the top one above it is at eight as well. That that uh, Reaper. Okay, so we got to a ten. We got to a ten right there. Really, really important to try and keep your board kind of close knit, tight knit, and get those ten stacks as as soon as you can. But let's keep on going. Hero changes. Uh, yeah, Trickster and and Necromancer. I'm surprised they're kind of re uh, uh, They're adjusting Trickster. Trickster doesn't seem super overpowered. Necromancer is really good. I would say it's on par with with Zeus. That's those are both very very good. At my level, it's mostly Gadget and Jay. Um, but then here it says, this is this is the important one, right? The Crystal Mancer and the Knight Statue will show off their new found talents. There it is. Okay, talents coming to Knight Statue as well as Crystal Mancer. So I'm going to have to look. Crystal Mancer is part of Dark Domain. And Knight Statue is part of um, Kingdom of Light. So I my Crystal Mancer is already max. So as long as we have some Dark Domain Faction Cores, which we just used a lot on our um, Cultists, we're going to have to just be prepared for that. But Knight Statue, I have mine at 13, I believe. We're going to have to look. This may be a very unique opportunity that we have, that we haven't had this opportunity since Inquisitor getting talents, to where it is a legendary card getting talents, and we're right on the cusp of making it max. So we're going to be able to get the first couple of talents almost certainly on knight statue right away but maybe even get it getting him to 15 and then guys I, I, we're gonna have to go back to that inquis knight statue talents deck we've been talking about this a while that is super super exciting and then the last thing it says actually second to last thing significant balance changes are imminent i keep using that that word imminent uh, all right uh for units and talents including the reforging of the enchanted sword and that's why we're playing sword in this deck sword is getting a balancing change if i had to guess i mean a lot of people use sword in their decks if i had to guess sword is going to be getting a nerf and then the last thing the very last thing they say is that we'll tell you more about everything in the next news stay tuned pretty cool hit, let's hit tribunal didn't have enough to take it out i wish i actually had played the that situation a little bit differently because i think i could have spammed out some swords perhaps hit the bubble on inquisitor he is he does have protection and mermaid so it would have been really really tough to get the bubble away um but in the case that we did get rid of his bubble he could have gotten hit by tribunal ranked him down to rank five that would have been huge um and we took a hit from tribunal anyway so it would have been worthwhile to kind of merge out a couple of things 35 seconds until Monkey King. You can see we're falling off a bit, so, but so is he. And this is why this combination is so important between J, sorry, uh, between Reaper and Crystal Mancer, because Crystal Mancer really can't hold their own during waves. Pretty good against bosses, really struggles with waves. So Reaper's job is to take away all those mini monsters, all the garbage in the waves. So Crystal Mancer can then target the, the mini bosses and the bosses eventually. So it works out as a really, really good comp combination. The trick is just finding how to make both of those cards powerful enough to have it be worthwhile. They work really well cohesively, but a high level Inquis is still going to be a, a, a better bet than these two combined. So I think Sword is really good in here. Harlequin Dryad seems relatively necessary for Sword to get the... To get the most out of Sword and to get the most out of Dryad. Um, but if we had Pretzel in here, it would definitely help. If we had one more level on our J where we had a little bit of slow, I think that would help a lot too. But we got 42 seconds here. We've got our cup of coffee. He's having a little bit of trouble. He does have a Knight Statue on that Inquisitor. It is a level 13 Inquis. And we can look at her, his equipment real quick. Level 2, Legendary Sword. Level 9, Mage Robes. Level 1, Rare Amulet. So... Not the worst, but not the best either. So, you know. And right there, his Inquis got frozen by some nonsense. Hit him with a good game. Not sure why it's even able to hit that Inquis if it has a shield. Why have a shield if it can still get hit by negative effects? Riddle me that, Batman. Not really sure. But there is a win in the books. And as promised, let's jump into a live game. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more about what 
possible changes are going to be coming to sword what possible talents could be coming to uh knight statue as well as crystal mancer i'm honestly just ex just as excited about crystal mancer as i am about knight statue both are super fun cards i want both of them to be in the meta i guess knight statue is already in the meta but if, it, if it's going to be better, I'm super excited. But let's jump into the next game of the morning and see if we can get the second win of the day. Back in once again. We're going up against another Inquiz player here. Uh, ooh, a very, very nice placement for our Crystal Mancers right off the bat. And equipment, again, relatively average, I'd say. The only difference here is that my man is running Sword as well as running knight statue so that's definitely interesting you almost never see that isn't there like a really specific piece of sword to where it doesn't work as well with knight statue i think it's something like that but either way it's gonna be annoying to deal with because we're gonna be it's gonna be very very difficult i'm actually gonna do this kind of a weird play but maybe you'll under maybe 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 it'll work out um but either way, it's going to be a hindrance for us. It's going to make it that much more difficult for us to get a 10 stack, which is really, really our goal. And uh, and if we're not able to, I don't know how well this deck is going to work out. I'm trying to find an Ascended Sword. Very, very difficult to do so. That's one of the main reasons that we have Harlequin in this deck, because we really need to find those Ascended Swords. Without them, this deck is definitely going to struggle. But let's keep talking about what kind of things would be really good in uh, as talents. Because... Crystal Mancer, I feel like it would be really good to have some sort of a slow. It would be really good to have some sort of a multi-target. A multi-target Crystal Mancer could be really, really cool. It could also just go more in the direction of the, the ramp up. Okay, because Crystal Mancer, as it targets a monster, it's supposed to ramp up, right? It's supposed to do more and more damage over time to where I feel like you really don't notice that ability it, eh, maybe a little bit but it would be awesome if it actually was noticeable to where when it starts let's say it has a 10 mil it's like 10 9 8 9 6 9 2 and then it's like 7 2 gone like i want to see it actually oh let's uh, like i want to see it really really get going and output a high amount of damage i think that would be super super cool um and yeah a little bit of slow could be worthwhile i honestly don't I don't care. I mean, it's probably going to be something with trophies, with stacks, right? They they love doing the stacks, the trophies. I don't want it to turn into anything that you're spamming. I don't care about the hog or the reaper has a ghost that it spent that it spams. I really don't care about any of that. Um, yeah, I want it to just kind of increase the damage as much as possible. So we're going to do that. We're going to go right here. Little reaper right there is great. I'm going to combine those out. We're going to go here, as well as, uh, I'll do that. So we got a two and a one, not too bad. I'll get rid of that Reaper when we get a chance. We'll do this. We're going to go over here. I think we're doing pretty good, actually. He's having a little bit of trouble, obviously. Um, this guy is probably the highest rank, if I had to guess. And then when it comes to Knight Statues, let me know in the comments what you guys would want to see out of the talents for knight statue and for for crystal mancer but let's try and guess so for knight statue increased damage increased attack speed right i think it's just increased crit right now it's not it's not attack speed but attack speed would be so sweet um what else could it possibly be Ooh, keeping uh keeping this guy around could be fun Again, I don't really want something that stuns my opponent. It would be awesome if Knight Statue could increase the unit level of a card. That would be sick. That would be a really good, like, final talent, I believe. Let's level up these guys. Gorgon doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to keep on spamming here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Definitely going to get our Crystal Mancer. Or not, sorry, not our Crystal Mancer. Our, um our reaper up there it's really important to get at least a couple of high ranking reapers and then probably try and fill your board as much as possible with um with crystal mancer because the more crystal mancers the better right um but yeah i think that would be a super sick ability to to rank up the tier maybe even crystal mancer kind of like how i think hunter is the only one that does that that 
has the ability to ramp to um, increase its merge rank on its own. I feel like that would be a really sick ability for for Crystal Mancer. Also, I mean, I just want to make it viable. Don't give it talents and still make it stink. It's a it's a epic. Like epics should be should be able to hang, right? Let's see. I'm gonna have to do. I guess we'll just do that. I'll go here. Crystal Mancer there. I guess we're just gonna do a. Oh, I forgot that we even had a a uh, a fairy on our Crystal Mancer. But guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and if you're gonna be making any in-game purchases, if you guys are gonna be going for those max Crystal Mancer, max uh, Knight statue, make sure that you guys are going through my games rather than in-game the in-game app and using code Beach. Okay, because we have the exact same store. In my games, yeah, it's not going to merge anything, as we do in-game, okay? So you can buy the Premium Pass, the Hero Tavern Pass, the Platinum, but if you guys use my code BEACH, it enables me to continue making the content that you guys enjoy so much, and it is the, the absolute best way for you guys to help support the channel for no cost whatsoever to you. So pretty cool. Go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and make sure that you guys leave a message. Leave a little message. Write, write me a joke. Do something funny. Um... I appreciate everybody that does so. I do read them and I do enjoy them. Okay, we're gonna go... Well, I feel like these guys aren't super important right there. Let's just do this. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go there. I could have done that to the uh, Reaper. I feel like that wouldn't have been a bad play. Let's just do this. I'm gonna go here and here. Maybe we can get another rank four. I'll just merge these out. I'm gonna merge these out. There we go. Let's get that Reaper up. Although we are going up against Tribunal, so that's kind of unfortunate. I'm just going to merge these. That's not what I meant to do. Reaper, work back a little bit. So Tribunal's going to hit, and it's going to hit hard. Kind of unfortunate. We got we had a unit here that got erased. Um, again, right there, we had an opportunity to try and maybe hit that that uh inquiz and have it get hit by uh tribunal but it didn't work out so this guy's still a five and a four we're gonna have to keep on pushing the issue on jay here okay at least we got a little bit of work done on uh on on banner lord can we take it out all right, I think we will. Vortex could be interesting. Take it out. Come on, baby. One mil to go through, and there is a victory. Hit him with a good game. The last game was a little bit more fair. We've got double this guy's crit. I don't know what to tell you. We were just trying to show off Crystal Mancer as well as Sword, and I feel like Reaper is a pretty good card to throw in there. I didn't show you guys the damage in the last game. Um, so here's the damage here. Only 42 million. We did Reaper more damage. So let's actually just showcase here really quickly um i can do this and let's just we're just gonna back out just so you guys can see the damage because i always quit out too early so we'll just do that 2200 right that's a little bit better we ended up doing 100 million damage and here was a little bit more even we did 50 million from our our crystal mancer 40 million from our reaper and 20 million from our J. I think that's worthwhile let's take a peek at what card levels we have so we have a max crystal mancer and for Knight Statue, we've got a level 13. And we've got 5 out of 3 right there. So we would be able to get him to 14. We've got 720 Light Cores. Uh, I think we would be able to get him to 15. I really do. We only need one more Knight Statue. No, that's not. Yeah, one more Knight Statue uh, card. Worst case, we turn them into crystals. We turn those extra two into crystals. And use a book, which we don't currently have. But they're not super, super difficult to get so i'm excited let me know in the comments but that is going to be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video